Eon is very much engaged in the area of renewable energies. That's one of our main commitments. And of course, that also involves making this technology feasible. We currently have an overabundance of renewable energy generation facilities, which, to put it in a nutshell, can't get rid of their electricity. They're not able to control when the sun will shine or when the wind will blow. Energy storage facilities, also known as thermal energy or gas storage facilities, are elements designed to postpone the use of energy, while networks are systems used to transport energy. And to achieve the balance between surplus energy and the amounts of energy required when they're actually needed, that is the art of uniting these two systems. We're here today to celebrate the laying of the foundation stone of our first power-to-gas pilot facility, with which we intend to demonstrate that wind turbine energy, excess wind power, can be stored in the natural gas grid. And we're happy that so many guests and visitors have come to help celebrate this event together with us today. You can see that energy storage plays an important role in our corporate group, that we also consider it to be a technology of the future. And similarly, of course, the state government of Brandenburg also considers it to be important. We actively support energy storage technologies. We are here in a region that leads all of Germany in terms of the number of wind turbines, which makes it particularly appropriate to take the proper steps toward the intelligent network, the smart grid, but also in regards to the topic of energy storage. We looked at a number of sites all over Germany in the pre-planning phase of the project, and we then came to the conclusion at this site in Falkenhagen that we have a situation here that is to be anticipated in the future energy network in Germany. Here in the background, we see a transformer station that belongs to our regional grid operator, Eon Edis. Large quantities of wind energy capacities currently arrive at this transformer station, and we are already witnessing that there are huge grid bottlenecks. And that's why it's the right site for us to store these surpluses from the electricity market in the natural gas grid. We are completely on schedule to date, and I'm therefore confident that we'll be able to announce the startup of operations in March 2013. Today, we've reached an important milestone for the project. The last two of a total of six electrolysis units were delivered today, as well as the compressor units, which are actually among the core components of the new system. What will happen in the system is the following. We'll obtain electricity produced by wind, and that energy will be utilized in the electrolyzers to produce hydrogen and oxygen from water. The oxygen is released into the atmosphere, and the hydrogen is conveyed via an approximately 1.6 kilometer long pipeline and stored in the natural gas system. The compressor unit compresses the hydrogen produced in the electrolyzers to the required pressure, which we need in order to store it in the natural gas system. Today, we're carrying out the performance test of our facility. This means that all of the individual components are commissioned and are individually tested. And if everything runs smoothly, the pressure is off the contractors, they will have officially rendered their services, and we will then take over and assume ownership of the facility. We can currently say at this point that the project's facility was installed within the estimated time and budget. But we're only halfway, because we're now looking at a three-year pilot phase during which we are going to test this facility in the market environment of the network region in order to establish this technology as a potential building block in a future energy system. This project is highly important for E.ON. It's a so-called flagship project, among many other projects in the innovative technology sector, since we have also made it our mission to protect nature for the benefit of everyone, to do something for nature, for the environment, and for people.